Hello everyone, this video is about the inner alchemy um, symbolised by Jesus being baptised by John in the River Jordan and how this process can enhance your own higher senses and even help towards opening or sharpening your spiritual vision through your third eye. For those of you have, who have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that Jesus's 33 years of life symbolize the 33 vertebrae in the human spine. Indeed, his birth, his life, his teachings, his baptism, which is what this video is going to specifically unpack, um, his crucifixion and resurrection all take place inside the body. So Jesus is said to be 30 years old when John baptizes him. Since his 33 years signify the 33 vertebrae, Jesus's 30th year must correspond with the 30th vertebrae of the spine. The 30th vertebrae of the spine is C4, the fourth cervical vertebrae. And this location in the body is also analogous with the biblical place of Bethany, because that is where Jesus was said to be baptized. Um, it corresponds with the throat chakra, of course, or the Vishuddha power center and the disciple Philip, who um, Charles Fillmore says represents our power faculty in the 12 powers of man, which is a fantastic book that I love. I love all Charles Fillmore books, but that is one of my favorites. Um, but perhaps the most important thing to take away is that the marvelous, um, endocrine gland known as the thyroid is level with vertebrae C4. So what is the inner baptism performed by the thyroid gland exactly? Well in the Bible it is John that baptizes Jesus in the river Jordan which is the central canal of the spinal cord and broadly speaking, John is a metaphor for the soul. Both ancient saints and sages, plus modern scientists, agree that the soul can be equated with the fluids of the body, specifically CSF, brain and nerve fluid, which is a part of the lymphatic system. Um, and as Randolph Stone said, the soul swims in CSF. But Dr. Carey goes one step further and tells us in God Man, the Word Made Flesh, that the word John is actually a chemical formula. Now, he doesn't say what the word John is a formula for, um, so let's unpack this. The thyroid gland, positioned by the 30th spinal vertebrae, C4, uses iodine, which is an electron donor or life force donor, to produce thyroxine. Thyroxine is a dynamic and powerful hormone which actually disinfects all the channels of the nervous system while we sleep. Without this biological iodine, we would not be able to live. And for any Big Bang Theory fans, Sheldon Cooper also referred to this cleansing phenomenon when he said, I need to go to sleep so that my CSF can remove the metabolic byproducts of my thoughts. In other words, Thyroxine literally baptizes or purifies the body on a very deep cellular level. But how can we be sure that John and thyroxine do in fact correspond? 
Well, coming back to that chemical formula, we see that the letters which spell John, which was previously ion in the Greek Bible because there were no J's back then, are found in the chemical formula of thyroxy. The word John is in that chemical formula of that amazing, potent, disinfecting, baptismal um, compound being secreted by the thyroid. So that is a great example of alchemy in the Bible. Looking more closely at the chemical formula of thyroxine uh, provides further insights into the magical alchemical nature of scripture and the Hebrew alphabet and also the formative power of words. So in thyroxine, we have the following elements corresponding with the letters of John's name. J or I for iodine. Again, there was no letter J in the Hebrew language. Historically, the name John would have begun with an I or a Y. Then we have O for oxygen. Oxygen corresponds with the Hebrew letter Aleph. Uh, which is the catalyst of creation, one of the three mother letters that form all the other letters. Uh, then we have H for hydrogen. Hydrogen corresponds with the Hebrew letter Mem, which is the water of consciousness. And Mem is another one of the three mother letters. Um, and finally, we have N for nitrogen. And nitrogen corresponds with the Hebrew letter Shin, the fire of life. And of course, yes, Shin is the third mother letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So the mother's letters are Aleph, Mem and Shin oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Amazing how all life comes from those letters and all life comes from those formative elements. So when Jesus is baptized by John, it causes remarkable things to happen. The books of Matthew and Luke tell us that when Jesus rose from the baptismal waters, the heavens opened and the spirit of God descended like a dove. And this refers to the pure light of consciousness and all creation, God growing and expanding within as the spirit and soul of the body are cleansed. So as we are cleansed by degree, our inner light gets brighter and brighter. And the book of Corinthians also talks about cleanliness being next to godliness. Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. And that is 2 Corinthians 7 1. And my book Elevation has more insights about the character of John as well. But for this video, I just really wanted to highlight the alchemical relation to the iodine rich hormone known as thyroxine that clears the body on such a deep cellular level. And it's amazing because other theories also corroborate the power of thyroxine in the body. And I want to read some of those um, ideas to you now. For example, it is believed that iodine has the ability to purify and cleanse the energetic and spiritual aspects of the body. 
Iodine assists in clearing negative energies and promoting spiritual growth. Iodine assists with third eye activation, which is associated with intuition, higher consciousness and spiritual insight. Iodine assists with psychic abilities, allowing individuals to tap into higher realms of knowledge and perception. The concept of chakras associates iodine with the throat chakra, also known as the thyroid chakra. It is believed that iodine supports the balance and activation of this energy center, facilitating self-expression, communication and alignment with higher truths. Iodine is sometimes associated with creating a protective energy shield around the physical and energetic body believed to ward off negative influences and promote spiritual strength and resilience. Some esoteric teachings propose that iodine can facilitate the safe and balanced awakening of the Kundalini energy, leading to spiritual transformation and enlightenment. Iodine is thought to have the ability to clear energetic blockages and promote the free flow of energy throughout the body, thereby supporting overall vitality and spiritual well-being. Theories suggest that iodine can help raise the vibrational frequency of the body, promoting spiritual attunement, expanded consciousness and a greater connection to higher realms. And lastly, some practitioners even associate iodine with the activation and alignment of the individual's divine will enabling them to manifest their spiritual purpose and carry out their soul's mission. So obviously, you know, you should do your own research before taking any kind of supplements or anything at all. But just so you know, my favorite um, iodine supplements are organic Irish sea moss, which is naturally rich in iodine. And there are capsules but made by Together Health, uh, which I haven't actually been able to get hold of recently. So hopefully um, they'll be available again soon. But I will link both of those products below. Um, And I'm sure there are other reliable brands out there as well. It's not something that I used to take at the very beginning of my journey before I had my initial um, Kundalini or sacred secretion experience, but it is something that I keep finding again and again when I was doing lots of research into the Daniel fast and doing more and more fasting, I kept finding um, scriptures and health um, benefits of iodine and um, again the energetic power of thyroxine and how it clears all the cells of the body and obviously that helps with enlightenment because you know we kind of regenerate from the inside out so as every cell purifies we can radiate more light in that way so Although I wasn't taking any iodine at the very beginning, it is something that I have been using for probably coming on for five years now. And I do notice um, the difference when I don't um, have that supplement. But when I'm using lots of greens and I'm using chlorella and super greens in my smoothies, um, or sea moss in my smoothies, um, I might skip the supplement because you don't really need to double up. But again, do your own research, find what works best for you. Um, if you don't take any super greens or any iodine supplements, then you know maybe it's something that you could look at for helping to really um, assist 
with clearance and um, keep your energy levels up as well because obviously you know it's very well known that uh, super greens are awesome for you in many many ways so thank you so much for watching if you would like to know more about the journey of the jesus seed through the body please watch this earlier video and i will include links to my books and my course which is available on teachable below as well may divine light manifest itself in you all always and in all ways namaste